But a lot of those Ron Paul supporters are moving over to this next gentleman, Gary Johnson. He's the Libertarian presidential candidate, of course, the former New Mexico uh, governor, of course, uh, now officially the Libertarian candidate for president. Uh, somehow they let Gary in this building. I have no idea why. But then again, <laughs> your past, then again, they let, your past, they let me <laughs> inside this building here. And uh, I don't know whether I was the to token Italian-American anchor. But anyway, uh, Gary Johnson is here. Governor, very good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Um, you're uh, you're the party crasher. Skunk at the party. Huh? Indeed. Not even that. Well, the, the notion that we need to balance the federal budget now and uh, end the wars. I think it's a message that's not being heard, and uh, it's important. I think people really do want to end the wars. I think people really recognize that this spending is not sustainable, and that's balancing the budget immediately. Now, in a lot of states you poll very, very well. The argument is you tip Colorado... Uh, to, to the to to I tip uh, Colorado to Romney, right? You're right, and, <laughs> and, and a couple of other states you tip uh, to to yeah, to Barack around. Obama. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I don't know whether that means you're a wash, but you're a pain in the neck. <laughs> Well, if, if both parties end up listening to what's being said here and realize that you can uh, survive politically um, at a minimum, this is changing the debate and the But discussion. you have to get in on the debate. Yeah, exactly. Well, and where does that stand? Well, i got to be at 15% in the polls, and I'm not in the polls, so how do you get it to 15% if you're not in the polls? But the polls that I am in, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not too bad. I got invited here uh, to address Paul Fest, uh, which I did. Uh, given that opportunity, Does that and it security pass work to get inside here, obviously. <laughs> right? I mean, if I knew that that gave me clearance to get in here as well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, you're here. It, I'm, I'm here, and uh, the talk went really well. I don't know if I. I couldn't have been received better. It was now, terrific. Now, the Ron Paul supporters, they're, they're good soldiers, but they're not across the board happy campers. And, and, and they, they speak in positive and complimentary terms about the ticket, but. Uh, even when I had uh, Ron Paul on talking about Paul Ryan, he's not a big fan of the Ryan budget. He says it actually doesn't cut enough. So a lot of the... Uh, the Ryan budget, uh, balancing the budget in 28 years, and that's incumbent on uh, growth occurring also. So how about if we start to address this in 2013, and that's what I'm so promising you, you, to do. So you argue that, elected president, you would start on this and get the thing balanced by when? Well, I would submit the balanced budget immediately, whether Congress goes along with that or not. Um, I think we need to elect somebody who's going to take on this debate and this discussion. Right now, there's a, there's a debate over, um, you know, not cutting Medicare, holding Medicare intact. We have to cut Medicare or we're going to find ourselves uh, in a monetary but collapse. Is your view that you don't like Medicare or that in its present form it can't survive? I'm it, not... it, it can survive. The, our spending, I would maintain, is not sustainable. Uh, that people recognize that and very simply a monetary collapse is when the money that we have in our pocket doesn't buy a thing because of the accompanying inflation that's going to go along with borrowing and printing money to the tune of 43 cents out of every dollar that we're spending are you surprised and it might change differently governor this year but uh third party candidates are always talked a great deal about ross perot was the last clearly successful one he could have won the whole thing it did not imploded at the end but it's generally tough. George Wallace, Absolutely. you know, made a good argument, you know, John Anderson. But it's tough. It's a tough road. And you've got a tough road ahead of you. Well, and, and so offering up what I'm going to argue is not the third choice, but the only choice. And really an important uh, fact here is, is that there are only going to be three candidates on the ballot in all 50 states. And I'm one of those candidates. Well, will you be on all 50 state ballots? Yeah, well, we've, the, the two states that we had the biggest issue with, we've, we've overcome. So although this is a process and we've got about 10 states to go, we're not expecting... Uh, any the, believe me there are problems at every step of the way right. it's really hard to get on the ballot so in you all wince 50 states, when people I, say you're a spoiler well uh, no I, I embrace it because okay. that draws a little bit of attention to what i'm saying so please call me a spoiler please all right uh, well security's been alerted that you're here <laughs> right uh, so let's, let's make we hope fast. to have video of the governor being carried away in in, in chains there but it, it, he does he does raise a lot of eyebrows and a lot of people are certainly paying attention to what he's been saying, whether you agree or disagree. So, Gary Johnson, thank you very, very well, much. Thank you very, very All much. All right, you be All well. Right. All right, I will. Uh, let me know how that.